Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you some of the new features that the Nvidia Shield tablet just received in the Android 6 Marshmallow update. So let's get into it. The first new feature is the app drop. So if you look, the app drop actually scrolls down instead of the sides and the search bar is right on top out here. And this is one of the major UI changes that I just found out. Secondly, if you look at the camera app, Nvidia has created a new camera app, especially designed for the tablet K1 to make use of the uh, Tegra K1 processor. So I can turn back to the front camera and I have some options out here on the side, camera, panorama, uh, slow-mo, video, QR scanner. If I got a panorama, I don't know, it's rather funny, but you can see the camera app actually shrinks to that small little box there. Anyways, I come back to camera and I scroll to the right. I can actually see the videos that I just took. That's the new app. And I actually thought about this and I downloaded the new Google camera app, which is there even on Lollipop. And if you notice, it is sort of similar. The options are right on the right. You've got a different options, but yeah, Nvidia has added its own options. But yes, it is similar. I have to change the view from here. Let's scroll to the right. I do access my photos. So I can see where NV idea from, but fine. New app. Thirdly, I'd like to show you the settings app. It has something interesting out here. Storage in USB. So if you see, it actually says that I have 69.31 total storage. I mean, how can I have 69 GB? Well, yes, it comes shipped with 16 GB, of which 11.95 is usable. And I actually inserted a class 10 SD card of 64 GB. Unfortunately, I can only use 40, 57. And this totals up to 69.31 GB. So when you set up Marshmallow, it'll actually ask you whether you want to use the SD card as a storage as in you can just take out the SD card and use it with your computer or whether you want it as an internal storage and if you do choose internal storage then this SD card can't be used with any other device other than the Nvidia and if you remove the SD card a lot of features will go off but anyways it makes it very easy to make your SD card as the internal storage of your tablet finally one more feature that I saw was in the inbuilt apps of Nvidia first of all the icon is different and the NVIDIA controller app has actually been renamed to Shield Accessories. And as you can see, my controller is shown right out here. Channel number, phone player version. And it's definitely much better than the previous app. Another minor detail that I noticed was when I come down, when I scroll the app draw down, if I scroll it from the right, it comes on the right. If I scroll it from the left, it comes on the left. From the center, comes at various positions and yes you still have that app draw you can view your charge up here from shield accessories I don't know where the hotspot button is there even though I don't have LTE that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and once again peace out